My name is Richard Merritt. I'm with Lincoln County Customs. I'm a mechanic. Today we're going to start with uh, the basic tools that you need for the Lincoln County foot treads. We have uh, our safety glasses, just a standard set, a set of ear protection. Also we have an air saw and you don't have to use an air saw. You can use any kind of cutting tool just to get you a nice clean edge. Uh, just a pair of pliers, any kind will work. Uh, a punch I took and uh, cut down so I can uh, punch out the rivets. Uh, a ball ping hammer. A tape measure and uh, a sharpie marker. And then uh, a couple different various clamps that we use. And you can use any kind of clamp as long as it clamps it down tight to the, the tunnel. Also an air chuck to blow off the, the, shape, the metal shavings. Uh, two, I use a short 3 16 inch drill bit and also a long 12 inch 3 16 inch drill bit. Uh, some sort of power drill and then uh, a rivet gun is what we use. And then I use rubber pieces to clamp down between the tunnel and the LCC uh, treads so I don't scratch the powder coating. This is the Nitro MTX. The first step is going to be to knock out your rivets, make it easier to drill out. And you're going to knock out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven along your outside edge so you can take the outside edge off. Then you're going to knock out your uh, three rivets on your back support mount and you're going to knock out the five rivets on your tunnel. Step two is going to be to drill out your rivets that you just punched. On the Yamaha, part of step two is also these two rivets on the foot hoop and then the four rivets on the foot stop. On the Yamaha, for the step three, you want to, after you drill out all your rivets, you want to remove your outside piece of your rail and set it to a side, you're going to use it later. Then you want to take and clean your boards with some sort of cleaner, I use carb cleaner. That way that when you mark your lines out, your marker shows up and it sticks. You want to take and measure out from your board an inch and a quarter. That way you're, you're right along, right where your holes are for on your stock boards, you're right along that edge. Yamaha step four, you want to cut right on the, the front of your front hole underneath your uh, foot hoop. So mark your line to where you're, you're uh, cutting out that front hole but you're leaving enough space. Step five on the Yamaha, when we're going to get ready to start cutting on our lines. Make sure you have your eye protection and your hearing protection on. We're going to start by cutting straight across.
On the Yamaha boards, you just want to set your new LCC treads into place. Line up with this back edge, that way you still have a little space in between. And make sure you can't see any of the edges. Like this edge right here, we're going to have to clean up a little bit. So none of the snow catches it as it's falling through. It has a nice clean area to fall through. On step seven of the Yamaha, when you're getting ready to clamp, make sure that your line is, is set. And then once that is, take your piece of hose or piece of rubber so you don't scratch your powder coating. Take your hose clamp and you wanna make sure you suck it up against the tunnel just like that that way she's in place and she's ready to start drilling out the holes for put the rivets in okay so now after we've clamped it and made sure that uh, everything's gonna be nice and smooth take it back off and I'm gonna put uh, a red sticker behind it that way it matches the, the wrap on this sled Take some uh, carb cleaner and clean it off so the sticker sticks good to it. S slide it back into place and then I'm going to take the marker and mark on it right in, right in front of the C and on the back side of the L. Give me a rough area to put that sticker. Here we go. And I'm going to clamp it back down. Now that we got it all clamped back down, I'm going to start drilling out our pre drilled holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on the upper support. And then we have uh, one down here, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven on our lower support. Now that we have our holes drilled out on our upper support, we're going to use the rivets from bag one. Okay, so I don't scuff up the boards. I'm gonna put a rag around the rivet gun. And that way you don't scuff up the support bracket of the boards. Okay, to do the front four holes, you wanna push the foot stop back so when you're drilling up through you don't hit that plate. That way you, you line up the holes on the bottom, you drill up through the LCC board and then you line these upper holes together and that way they're, they're all one line.
Okay, so your next step is gonna be to get your foot hoop, push it over, and then drill your holes up from the bottom so you have enough, your rivets have enough area to grip a hold of. Okay, now that I have the rail all in position and holes lined back up, I'm gonna place two rivets coming up and then one coming from the bottom. Now I'm gonna drill my three holes from the bottom into this back support bracket. And then all the, the one, two, three, four, five, six holes coming in from the bottom on this outside rail. And then the rivets will come in from the top and your outside uh, bar will be uh, secured back to the LCC boards. I'm clamping down the back of this board so when I'm pushing it gives us some support when I'm as I'm drilling. Okay, so the outside rail is now on with all the rivets. <clears throat> and the last step is, is putting on your cleats, which you line up uh, different sizes of cleats, match up your uh, pre-driven holes, and then rivet it on. And your LCC boards are complete.